good evening my friends how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is the last speaking uh, the first thing of all that we need to talk about which we haven't talked about in long time actually is the signals performance from angela uh, under extreme trader and i believe it's doing really very well uh, recently uh, to be honest with you frankly i still don't have the results uh, in details but what I'm sure right now is the members and who have joined recently are quite happy and satisfied with the results. And we can see this from these uh, screenshots taken from the clients. And I'm honestly happy to see these uh, people and everyone who have joined the signals and the premium group are actually making some good profits, especially on last week. Angela was doing really very well and I'm happy for her performance and I hope and wish that this performance will continue going for a uh, longer time. Again, if you want to join the premium signals, you can kindly contact Angela. Uh, you can find her uh, contact details on Telegram in the descriptions, uh, in the description, sorry, under this video. So talking about the weekly analysis, when we are analyzing the market on weekly basis, or we are actually predicting the market for the whole week, we are doing it based on or purely based on technical uh, view. We are just checking the support and resistance, the demand and supply levels, uh, the price action on weekly and daily chart. This is all from technical view. <clears throat> but sometimes what happens, there are some occasions where there are, there are some unexpected news that might actually hit the market and affect the currency in a bad or good way. Let's take for example, uh, this news occurred on Monday, May 13, yet on just on the opening of the market. China is raising tariffs on $60 billion of U.S. goods starting June 1st. Uh, I believe this actually has uh, affected the news, or sorry, affected the market, sorry. And we can see actually, uh, for example, USDGPY, because we are talking about uh, U.S. and China. So the actually the reversal here didn't uh, quite uh, or didn't work quite well it, it reversed later and sadly the closing of the week was exactly almost uh, as the opening so the market has just went down almost um, 80 pips or 86 pips and again went back so now we are just back to where we started it so later i will analyze uh, this pair and let's see how we can do it. Not only that, but I believe there was some news and I will be honest with you, frankly, I couldn't find uh, anything uh, related, but definitely there is something wrong happened with the, with the pound. I think uh, I have seen in the news, there are some, uh, uh, there are something about Theresa May and that she's uh, losing her fight uh, for Brexit to exit with a deal most likely they want to exit without a deal and that's why I think Mary uh, Theresa May is facing really hard time I believe somehow this might had might have affected uh, the pound very well or very bad to be honest uh, the pound is uh, falling for the whole week without uh, stopping without making any pullbacks it just go a little bit like 10 pips only but then falling down so for the whole week the pound has fallen about 272 pips and it was really a re remarkable movement this is remarkable because you don't see the same movement happened for the whole weeks we can see a lot of weeks happened here even in the worst days we had some pullbacks no matter what happened there was some pullbacks uh, occurring even no matter how strong uh, the bearish or the bullish momentum was but this one here this one is really odd so we can see how it really affected the pound and damaged it very well uh, <clears throat> if someone have any information about what could happen to the pound that day he can enlighten us I would really appreciate it because this is not normal movement and I don't hear uh, uh, pretend that I know everything and I don't take any negotiation that I know everything and I'm the king of forex absolutely not that is all rubbish I am just a trader just like any other trader and if I don't know anything I tell you right straight on your face that guys I really don't know 
So yeah, I'm really not sure what happened to the pound and I would appreciate if someone can enlighten us. So um, talking about that, let's go now and check what happened for the last week. Almost all of the analysis didn't work quite well as predicted, only except for the USDCHF. USDCHF was really perfect on the spot. I believe I said that USDCHF will be, if I'm not mistaken, let me just see it. Where is, where is it? Yeah, for the Euro, uh, sorry, USDCHF was really very accurate right on the spot. I, I said that the, the USDCHF will fall to this level, hitting this previous resistance, and then it will rise going more up. And thankfully, USDCHF was right on the spot, exactly on the same level, just barely, uh, I mean, just barely, exactly reversed on this level, giving about 65 or 64 pips. But to be honest with you, that was the only pair which moved uh, quite uh, as per the expectations. Uh, I think USD CAD uh, kept raging for the whole week. So there is nothing to be predicted uh, or nothing to be, uh, to nothing to talk about the USD CAD. Uh, Euro USD, I was expecting it to actually break from this level. But even if I said that, when once we see this price action on Monday, this pin bar here, or not sorry, this one, not this one, sorry. I believe it was, yeah, this one. Once we see this price action, we should know that the market now is actually not breaking out from this level. And now it is uh, falling down and reversing at this resistance. Maybe I should be more clear on the next analysis video to talk more about price action. What price action, if we see any price action happened, uh, what should we expect? So what I'm trying to do in this video now is telling you that if we see a price action indicating a reversal, let's go for it. Or otherwise, if we see another price action indicating a breakout or a continuation, let's go for it. So now I will analyze the pairs one by one. As usually, we will start with the Euro USD. So for the Euro USD, let's start by analyzing as much as possible. So now we are on the daily chart. Let's go to the weekly chart. Now on the weekly chart, we can see that we are actually on a strong support level. So most likely what will gonna happen for the next candle, which will open, I believe, since we are talking about, since we are talking about weekly, hold on guys, something happened on the next screen. <sighs> Let's see. I believe that the Euro USD might actually make a small bearish movement for about 23 to 25 pips before actually starting to go more up. So I think it will go a little bit to this support level and then from this support it will bounce and go more up again. So for the Euro USD on this level it will come down and bounce all the way up again. That is what I believe will gonna happen for the Euro USD. Then later on, later on we have to see the price action. If we see any price action such as uh, a pin bar like this, wait a minute, let me just be clear. So we will wait for the Euro USD on daily chart to reach this level, 1.11328. So then we have to wait to see any price action indicating a bullish reversal, either by seeing a pin bar or by seeing a reverse hammer like that, or actually like that. If we see any of these three candles or three price actions, then we should prepare for buy on the next day. However, if we see, okay, if we see that, then we have to prepare for the buy and enter our trade right on this level on 1.11328 and then keep the position until this resistance on 1.12620 that should give us approximately about 120 pips however we have to see the price action as i told you so if we see a price action on this level and exactly on this blue line here if you see the candle breaking from this level like that so this is the support level 
and we see the market actually breaking from this level then don't do anything wait to see what will happen later because most likely what will gonna happen is that the next day the another candle will up, will uh, show up here uh, to to retest this level so this breakout uh, candle uh, it will break from the support level then the next candle will actually retest this level then we have to see what will gonna happen if we see here remember I'm on daily chart if we see here any signal or any price action indicating that the market is indeed reversing then start short the euro USD now if you start shorting the euro USD from the same level you can keep your position all the way until until here so we can expect about uh, 95 pips if you see it uh, as I told you guys don't rush at all now euro USD is on a strong support level we have to be careful with it so just be wise when you pick your trade as I told you we have to see the price action because now we are on a strong a very strong support level we cannot really predict what will gonna happen but from my point of view I believe it will bounce and go more up until hit this support uh, sorry until hit this uh, resistance so let's go now to the GBPUSD now the GBPUSD is seems like it's gonna go for more uh, bearish movement if it is uh, regarding Brexit it's really hard to predict this pair but since now I'm on the weekly chart let me now pick my support and resistance levels and I believe this is the right way now allow me to say why did I pick this level now I'm on the weekly chart and I put my line here because it is touching the top of this uh, resistance and it's touching the very bottom of this support as well and this support as well so most likely what will gonna happen that the pound GBP USD will go a little bit more up here and then continue to fall more down until hitting the support uh, let's go to the daily chart again and yes I believe this is what will gonna happen maybe we'll see a small pullback and then it will continue to fall more down but again I'm telling you please be extra careful when you're trading the GBP USD because this pair is falling like never before um, again check the chart it's really rare to see a uh, complete bearish momentum like that going continuously for the whole week I think we can see that only during Brexit but usually it's rarely moving uh, continuation of five candles altogether uh, con uh, continuously so again be careful I don't think it will go up at all to be honest most likely again GBP USD will go up to 1.27711 then from this point it might be good for sell there is another small chance there is a little tiny hope that the GBP USD will actually go all the way up to hit this previous support and then it might continue to go more down so anyway <clears throat> in all ways GBP USD don't ever uh, long don't ever buy GBP USD it's not recommended at all to buy the pound just be prepared for sell so if you sell at this point I my advice for you is don't rush to sell uh, just wait to see some price action on the four hour or one hour and again when we see when we say price action I mean something like a pin bar like that or a candle look like that that indicates that the market now will actually change from being bullish to bearish uh, momentum and this these these two candles one of them if they occur they could mean that there will be a reversal at this point so we have to wait to see this uh, reversal uh, at least on the four hour chart before we decide if we should uh, start selling so the next will be AUD USD um, AUD USD is also showing uh, strong bearish momentum um, check on the weekly chart I don't really think or yes we have here an, we have a chance that actually we have here a strong support 
it's now approaching the support level. So maybe I believe AUD, AUD USD will uh, continue falling to hit the support level. AUD USD will fall down to hit the support level before actually go more up to hit this previous support here. Now I'm on the weekly chart, don't forget that. So going to the daily chart, this might take actually some long time. Uh, we have to wait to see what will gonna happen. But again, I believe uh, AUD USD will go down all the way until 0 0.68269. Then again, we have to wait for the price action. And once we see it, uh, start buying the AUD USD and you have to exit your trade at the nearest support, which is right here on this level. I believe on 0 0.69, uh, sorry, 0 0.69375 will be a good idea for start shorting the AUD USD again. Uh, talking about the USD CAD again, USD CAD has been ranging for quite long time. It is ranging on this level. And it doesn't show any symptoms or any uh, signs of uh, bearish or bullish uh, reversal. But from my point of view, the, a the USD CAD should actually uh, not lasting, not it will not last for a long time in this tunnel or this channel. Sorry, most likely it will uh, it will end by actually uh, breaking out and go out on this level. And it will exit this uh, channel and go all the way to hit this previous resistance. Now the question is, when should we really buy the USD CAD? Well, actually, there is not really a clear level to buy the USD CAD, to be honest with you. Personally, I will avoid USD CAD for the whole week because it has been ranging for quite a long time. And it's not really a pair that I... W Look at this. This is so ugly. That is not a pair that I want to, uh, to trade at all. I maybe will enter with the buy option if I see the USD, the USD CAD actually breaking from this support level and going all the way to this support here. That will be the only case where I will decide to place buy order on 1.32880 and then it should actually continue to go more up 300 pips. So again, uh, USD CAD in general is actually moving up. Again, as I told you, it is getting trapped. Uh, there is a pretty good chance that we will see the USD CAD uh, ranging for the next uh, week or maybe next two weeks before finally breaking out from this resistance. We have to wait and see what will gonna happen to the USD CAD. So let's move to the USD GPY. Now, as I told you, the USD GPY has opened or actually closed, sorry, exactly on the same level it opened for the past week. Now we are facing some resistance here, right here. We are facing some resistance and I believe we see here a lot of rejection. So we need to see some price action. Now actually this price action is very good for a bearish momentum or a bearish reversal. But from technical view, I don't believe that the USD GPY will go down immediately. Um, this is not the nearest support. Don't forget that. This is the nearest support here. Uh, sorry, the resistance. This is not the nearest resistance. This is here the nearest resistance. So there is a good chance that... Let me just be accurate. I believe here, yes. Uh, we need to see how the USD uh, GPY will move. I believe or I expect to be honest that the USD GPY will continue going more up until hitting this previous resistance here and then it will continue to go more down uh, until hitting this previous support. So again, USD GPY, uh, logically, it should be good for buy, but not now. Uh, Monday, don't buy anything. Don't do anything for the USD GPY until you see some price action here telling you that there is or actually it's breaking out from this uh, previous resistance the kind of price action you want to see on this level is a candle so this is the resistance level we want to see a candle actually breaking out from this level and the next candle is going down 
to retest this level if you see the can next candle coming down to retest this same level here then place your buy option place buy and get ready to exit your trade after about uh, let's say about 80 pips then once the candles reach this resistance I would advise you to start shorting the USDGPY starting from 110.824 and the last one will be the USDCHF as I told you USDCHF was good to buy exactly on the same level as I predicted last week so what we are facing right now is another resistance right on this level right here so I believe USDCHF is right now uh, good for buy, uh, sorry for sell is good for sell on this level because on the left we can see here a resistance and here another resistance then we have this breakout candle and since we are on the daily chart applying now the 20 pips a day strategy so we can tell that the candle or sorry this market will keep the position of this resistance so this resistance will keep its position as a resistance right on the same level so it is good time to sell USDCHF and I'm expecting the pair to go more down until hitting this previous support so guys that was my prediction for this uh, upcoming week I really wish it will be accurate and it will be helpful for everyone to decide your trades so guys until then I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching